Right guys, we're here with comic book artist Brad Walker. How are you doing Brad? Good, very well, thank you. Did so you enjoy your first day here at uh, Oscom Con? Yeah, I, just, I love the natural light we get in this convention center for drawing and <laughs> the crowd seems, it seems pretty packed already even though I heard it's difficult getting people in over here on the, on the island but it looks like, you know, it's a good show, a good crowd. So is this your first time at uh, Oz Comic Con or have you been to others? Uh, my first time at Sydney, my first time in Sydney at all. Uh, I did Melbourne last year uh, and Perth and Adelaide the year before that. So. Well, um, just, just regards yourself, Brad, when did you first start getting into comics and, and art? Uh, I drew, I watched uh, that old 60s Spider-Man cartoon with the, with the famous theme song. I watched that, reruns of that as a kid. Uh, I grew up outside Chicago, um, and I watched reruns of that, and so I would draw Spider-Man as a, as a really little kid. Um, and then I got into comics um, late 80s, I guess. Um, so around uh, when Robin died, just before the Batman movie came out, um, right before the big 90s boom, I, I got into comics and I was drawing them, you know, like crazy every day. So. So, would you say that you have favorite sort of superhero or villain, or was it was it more of a, was it more of a broad one? Uh, I've got a lot of favorites. I always I've always been a Spider-Man guy ever since you know a little I'm a little kid watching that show. Um, but I real I got pretty deep in the in the Marvel and DC pantheon uh, as I got into the actual books. Um, so I've got tons of favorites. I'm a big Fantastic Four guy, Superman, uh, the Flash. Yeah, yeah, I got. Tons. So would you say, um, like, the comic books that are being released now, would you say that they're, they're being written especially for the movies, or would you say that the movies were sort of doing their best to, just to find out bits and best um, bits and bobs from the comics? Uh, I mean, you can obviously see ways where the comics are um, trying to stay in tune with the movies just for recognizability. You know, you have a you have an audience of millions of people who don't read comics who are seeing the movies, so you need to be careful um, that what you're presenting, if there's a potential fan that saw Civil War that might want to pick up a Captain America comic, I think there's a feeling that you need to um, make it at least recognizable to that fan so that they're not coming in completely confused. And I think comics work to do that. But at the same time, you know, that's a hard the production schedule, the delivery method, all of it's so different between comics and movies. It's, it's difficult to, to stick too close to what any other medium is doing without really holding yourself back. So I, I think it's kind of a fine line that you have to, to ride. So with the comics that you've worked on yourself, Brad, uh, what are some of the publications you've been affiliated with? Uh, I've done a bunch of Superman and in action comics. Uh, I drew Guardians of the Galaxy and the, the book that they ended up adapting into the movie. The, the run in 2000, I was on it in 2008, 2010, um, and that's the one that they, that the director sort of ran with. Um, I drew Sinestro recently, uh, Green Lantern, New Guardians, uh, I drew Secret six years ago, I drew some Batman, uh, and now I'm on Aquaman. So. Would you say your current um, role with Aquaman, are you, is, is it from scratch or are you continuing the story? Yeah, we started over uh, with the Rebirth relaunch that DC did line-wide. Um, we started Aquaman from there, and uh, you know, it, it wasn't a continuity uh, reboot, but it's all, it's very new reader friendly, and, and we're sort of uh, just starting from, from a point where you don't need to have read any, anything before, and we're just, just running with it and just trying to tell a good Aquaman story, so it, it's kind of, the best of both worlds for people who uh, really want a ground floor approach and, and also for people who are tired of reboots and relaunches and aren't looking for another one. It's, it's somewhere in between all that. So, Would you say as an artist, um, would you happen to have any inspiration that you've had throughout the years? Uh, yeah, I mean I was, I was reading 10 to 30 books a month probably, uh, you know, all throughout the the 80s and, and 90s, so I, I picked up little things from from other artists in the industry all throughout that. It, it's always kind of hard for me to pinpoint um, any any one artist that 
is a huge inspiration. And, and I kind of think you're you're doing your own art a disservice when when you're that focused on any one other person. I, I think if you're doing it right, I think you're picking up bits and pieces um, all throughout your your life as an artist. Um, and and your influences shouldn't be that easily recognizable, or else you're not you're not enough of an individual probably to to, to do yourself justice. So. Yeah. So, Brad, what are you currently working on at the moment, or in the future? Do you have any plans to work on something else in the future? Uh, I'm on Aquaman for the long haul, so we just started. We're on issue six now. Um, and my issue six came out last Wednesday, uh, where he fights Superman, and it's all very uh, explained throughout the first arc why the two of them are at odds, and um, and I'm on I'm on Aquaman going forward. So. Yeah, Brad, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, thank you for your time. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we hope to see more. Great, awesome. Yeah, thank you. Thanks.